Hey everyone, Ty in New Hampshire. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, figured I'd throw up another video where I'm at in the appendix carry world. Um, like I said in my video with the hoster, I'm a fat guy. Robust is what I like to call myself. Um, but So this is where we stand with appendix carry. I have a Palmetto State Armory dagger um, in a border town hoster that I really enjoy. And this is the stuff I would normally wear, you know, maybe a sweatshirt or something over it. But so this is where we stand. Uh, I noticed, because I, I know I'm carrying it, I have a little imprinting right here. But I think a busy, busy shirt, maybe even a little busier than this one, uh, it kind of just goes away. And I think with what everybody's opinion, if you leave me a comment, let me know what your opinion is on this. I think society today is just absolutely unaware of anything going on around them. I mean, I think you could probably even almost open carry for, for crying out loud before people even realize it. Um, so, you know, just with everyday movement and stuff, it, it kind of goes away. What I had to do, like I said in the last video, though, is I had to take a, a belt clip off my Tier 1 Concealed, and it worked perfectly right over the wing and everything, because I was getting a lot of rocking this way. Uh, and that's pretty much stopped it. It's kept it right where I like it. Uh, I do have to put a little bit of Loctite on here. But that's where we stand. I mean, I never thought that a, you know, guy 260, 270, uh, I've seen all the videos that I could do uh, appendix uh, comfortable. I don't know if I need to put a little bit more wedge there. I get a little bit more this way. But uh, I think as far as getting in there, it works nice and it kind of disappears. All right, YouTube, I hope everybody's having a great day. Y'all take care. Bye.